Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about boom, Ghost Wall by Sarah Moss. This uh, Sarah is a an author from Glasgow, um, and that's the whole reason why I decided on this book. I'm kind of traipsing around the world right now. Uh, I read an, an Indian author, Vikram Padukar, uh, his book Night Theater. I did a uh, an uh, author from Buenos Aires, Maria Gainza, I believe it was. I read her book, Optic Nerve. Just kind of hopping around the globe, trying out different things that I either haven't done before or haven't done enough of. So if you have any, any recommendations for international authors um, translated or, well, I, I don't read all languages, but uh, translated fiction... Uh, or fiction that was originally written in English, I don't care. I haven't read anything from Germany, uh, China. I do have read Sorghum that I need to get to very, very soon. My friend Scott sent it to me. Um, let's see here. Who else? Uh, I'd love to read a Vietnamese author. I would love to read uh, basically anything on that side. <laughs> anything on that side. Even a Russian author. Um, if you're looking at a globe, what I mean on that side, you know, to, to the right of, of the ocean kind of deal. It runs down. <laughs> People are going to be like, you do know that the world is not flat. -y. <laughs> yes, I understand that. But if America's over here, Europe and all that's over here, these folks are the one. African authors love to read that. In fact, I think I have two or three books from them. But if you'd like to suggest something, let me know. Um, but uh, this book... I, I went on a complete rant. That's just how we're going to do reviews right now. I'm sorry, because my brain is scattered. I'm scattered-brained. But uh, with, with this book, this is a story about um, a woman that does, or it may say a young, younger woman, that goes to an archaeological thing that is a reenactment of the Iron Age. Uh, the history in this one I enjoyed a lot. I really, really love to see history written in this way. I, you, I tend not to like historical fiction, but if it's something set in the present that you're kind of learning about the past, I don't mind that too much. Um, and in this one, I absolutely loved it. I loved everything they did. Um, the, the interaction and the relationship between the narrator and her father is the best part of the book. There's a... Uh, her father's overbearing... Um, he's something else. He's misogynistic. He is, he's just a character. Um, he's a jerk, of course. Um, being misogynistic, there's no way getting around that word. He's a jerk. But there's a, there's also the fact that, you know, she cares about her father. And that comes into play at the end in a scene that I, I, w I was blown away by how it was handled and the aftermath. Um, to let you, I'm, I'm going to try and be vague here, but the part that I liked at the end was her worried about her father. That's the part that really stuck with me. Um, there is, like I said, there's a lot of history, there's a lot of stuff in there that I had no idea. Um, it, there was also a lot of, now this was an audiobook, so I listened to it. There's a lot of, uh, Scottish slang or, uh, vernacular, however you want to put it. And I enjoyed listening to that because the book is narrated in that accent. So I'm not sure if the narrator is Scottish or not, but the uh, I think she did a fantastic job with the accent. If uh, Wayne, if you're out there, man, and you read this book, let me know how the the narrator did. I don't like I said I don't even know if the narr narrator is from Scotland, but uh, yeah. So that's Ghost Wall. Uh, I know I didn't talk too much about the book itself, but I am I. I plead with you guys, when I don't talk about the synopsis, when I don't talk about the things that happen in the book, it's because I want you to discover them for yourself. Only when something doesn't affect the experience do I try and talk about it. Um, it sometimes, I don't even mention what they talk about in the blurb or the description, because there's actually spoilers in there. I went into this one completely, completely blind. Um, I got it on Scribe, once again. This is my fifth or sixth audiobook in a row um, from them. I am... Uh, the service is good. I will be reviewing the service coming up soon, but I've come across one huge problem with Scribe. Uh, this was months ago, and I'll talk about that because I'm going to be reviewing the service this coming week. So, 
But if you want to, if you want to try it out for yourself, I will leave a link down there in the doobly-doo. I don't make any money off it. This isn't sponsored. But I will leave a link down there. What I do get is I get a free month if you sign up. So you want to help me out with that, I'd appreciate it. If not, that's fine. But uh, have any of you read Ghost Wall by Sarah Moss? I'd love to hear from you. If you liked it, let me know exactly what you liked. If you disliked it, let me know exactly what you disliked. Leave all your comments down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!